Today is Tuesday, 31st October 2023. We've just finished a hearing with a county court, Wolverhampton. It was a remote hearing. It is concerning our tenancy with this I would call him slumlord and it would appear that the misfeasance and malfeasance in public office is being done to stall, cause a lot of time to go by as much as possible in the hope that we will be ground down. People in positions of power are abusing their power authority to be uh, to do criminal things to do with everything we have already stated in the public domain in blogs two of them in emails to various officials and various human rights organizations and so on and so on. It is now a situation of turning a opportunity to deal with a straightforward tenancy landlord case into one of having, especially me, Vivian Anamua, uh, in some kind of situation where I am, we are incarcerated again. Wrongfully. Wrongfully. And illegally. And illegally immorally because there are still things that the authorities, individuals and corrupt groups as in Psalm 83 crafty council crafty council, they are hoping to turn this case into something, and they have been doing so, into something that is extremely corrupt so that they can have us incarcerated. The reasons that they want us incarcerated, we have gone into detail but they seem to be determined to carry on regardless. So we've just been calling certain homeless charities because we thought it would be a good idea to have somebody know on record this farce that is taking place all this time from November, is it October 2021? Um, December 2021. Yeah. December yeah. 2021 to date. There are foreign people also involved in trying to have our genetics, our stem cells, Everybody knows to have stem cells, you have to have some form of coitus, what we call intercourse. How they intend to do this intercourse without our consent. Yes, without our consent agreement means that they intend to be criminals, regardless. They are keen 
to still have whatever they can from us, even if it means to arrest us, me, again for no reason, so that we are in their clutches, domain. The whole of this system is proving how corrupt and even insane they are. The lengths they are going to, to obtain illegally, wrongfully, our genetics is clear to anybody with a working brain. But because we are obviously on our own, we thought we might as well do this recording and put it out there what the current situation is now. There's no point in us approaching anybody in the legal world, whether it's a solicitor, because they are told not to assist us. So we went to the housing, homeless charity, Shelter. And that was just a few minutes ago and a few minutes after the court hearing, heard remotely, has ended. And conveniently, nobody's able to take our call with all three numbers that we have for them. Because they are all, as we said in our previous video, in it together. So I asked for a guarantee from the judge that we would be safe if we came to the court. We are being told it is going to be necessary, compulsory, that we have a face-to-face -face court hearing, as opposed to the remote hearing that we've just done. What else do they call it? Remote hearing? That's what uh, called, Microsoft yeah. Teams just, hearing. Yeah, yeah Microsoft, Microsoft Teams, teams even, yeah. hearing. Meeting, yeah. That's a Teams meeting, but there's a hearing gone over that. Right. We are being told that we, it is compulsory that we have to go to the court. We are being told we will be safe. We are being told when I asked if we are going to be guaranteed safety, we are being told, yes, our, our safety will be guaranteed. How are we supposed to believe anything anybody says when we are already seeing all the signs of how people say one thing and do another? We are told that we will be treated fairly. We have not been treated fairly all through this farce, which started in October 2021. Of this of December, of, of, of um, like that's two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Coming up to two years ago. Yes, it is. How is that treating us fairly when it is an open and shut obvious case? Mm -hmm. So we are being told now that we will be allowed to be in a waiting room by ourselves when we arrive at the court, which is supposed to take place now in around 28 days. And it's supposed to take two hours. How are we supposed to believe that we are going to be safe in a waiting room on our own, again, damned if we do and damned if we don't, because if we had other people around, other forms of confrontations and altercations is going to be set up as has been done before. And we've had to defend ourselves physically. 
How are we going to believe that we are going to be safe in a waiting room on our own with no witnesses to see, record what happens? Even if you if they've got uh, CCTV cameras, they are turned off where, as and when they feel like it. So how are we supposed to be safe in a waiting room on our own? And we already know the history and the pattern of what has been taking place. Not just with this landlord who is being encouraged to just lie all the time. So we've decided to do this video, just putting it out there in the public domain again, because it's clear that we have extremely very evil, twisted people, individuals and groups who think that they are entitled to do whatever they want to our bodies. They did not succeed in making us mentally ill. In all these decades, over three decades, mm -hmm. that they have been targeting us, with various forms of organized harassment and persecution, with various forms of remote directed energy weapons torture, with various forms of stalking on the street, online, and even in our homes, so they know wherever we are. This is the state of affairs now people listening. You, we are not going to be having any privacy so that their various criminals behind the scenes, hiding behind various positions, can choose who they use for whatever. If they think they want your genes for this, that or the other, they've decided they're entitled to them and entitled to get them by any means necessary. And we're supposed to be living in a civilised system, country. They have decided that it's okay to be psychopathic, soulless, and to take whatever they want in the way of whether it is somebody's body or body parts mm -hmm. or body tissue, mm -hmm. they have decided that it is their right to do whatever they can, whatever they want, even if it means sending police and so-called paramedics to our door without our invitation or knowledge, or consent. And without justification as well. And without justification. Mm -hmm. Just so that they could coerce us to open our door, front door, and in so doing, force their way into our lives and obtain whatever they think at the time, at any given time, what they want this time. Yeah? yeah? They've done these things because before they've decided they wanted us out of our home. So they arrested us from our home. For around nine hours, we were in there. We were being detained. Yes. Altogether, from the time they came, the police, and from the time they came to the time 
we were allowed to leave. Well, actually, no, it's the time we got back home. Yeah. Yeah. From the time we got back home yeah. was around nine hours. Yeah. Just so that they could go through our stuff for no reason, without a warrant. It's obvious. We don't need no proof. They even made sure that they didn't put things back the way they were before. They wanted us to know they've gone through our stuff. Yeah. So that was to intimidate, threaten, and make us feel like we have no power, safety from, safety them. from them to protect ourselves. So when all else fails... This is how so-called civilised people have behaved. Use the police, call the police, use the torture weapons, whether remotely or up close and personal, like they do with others. They've used tasers, right? Yeah. On people before. Yeah. Right? We already have made clear with evidence how they have been using torture weapons, directed energy torture weapons, microwave weapons, etc., remotely to cause various injuries, burns, scars, blisters, and so on. And pain. And pain, yeah. yes. They like to keep people in pain, mm -hmm. right? So, we decided to do this recording now. We are expected to believe we will be treated fairly in this so-called two-hour hearing, just so that they could do what? Have two hours to do whatever they want. And then in the end, cart us, especially me, off after they've had opportunities to use whatever weapons all because they want our stem cells genetics blood whatever tissue whatever and this is supposed to be a civilized system country Bear in mind that the UN Human Rights Organization knows about this situation. The European Court of Human Rights knows what's going on in this situation. The African Union knows what's going on in this situation. Various embassies know what's going on. Other human rights people know what's going on. We also have various politicians knowing what's going on domestically and abroad. Yeah. So This is where we're at now. This open and shut case has now drawn out so long, has been drawn out so long that it is now almost two years. And various people have decided that they need to get what they want now. I suspect the usual suspects also include the alphabet agencies, your MI5s, MI6s, GCHQs, and even abroad, mm -hmm. their alphabet agencies abroad that they usually work in unison with, 
are usually people like CIA, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And FBI yeah. and Mossad. NSA and Mossad. so on. So Mossad alphabet and all that. Yeah. 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 Alphabet agency too. yeah, yeah. They usually yeah. include them too, you see? Yeah. So this is the farce that is taking place with this case. There's things that they were supposed to do that they didn't do. And we're supposed to believe that we are going to be treated fairly. When we haven't been treated fairly for... This whole time. This whole time. Yeah. Since November... December. December Sorry, 2021. December 2021. Mm -hmm. With this case. And throughout these three decades. Mm -hmm. So people are showing that they are desperate. They don't even care what they look like now. They all want to get stuck in and share whatever body parts they can get. Whatever body tissue they can get. Like, for instance, ovaries. Yeah? Yeah. What they want to uh, extract. What else they want to extract? His blood as well. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. It's, it's, uh, we already know. The answer is whatever they want or whatever they can, mm. right? Yeah. Mm. So, this is where we're at. Yeah, it's, it's, Hard to believe when you are a normal person. But if you are somebody that is already psychopathic, soulless, this is normal behaviour for them. Mm. This is what is considered normal for them, to them. Mm It is obvious that our being black has everything to do with why they want what they want from us and our bodies. We've made that clear enough on the blogs, in writing, in emails, in person, in phone discussions or talks mm -hmm. when we've had to deal with the same unscrupulous is a nice word but the same insanity they have tried to provoke whether they use utilities people or councils or homeless departments, you name it, they use them to try and provoke us. So they've reached the end of their attempts to provoke us. Now it's just all out madness and insanity that they expect us to go along with. Two hours for an open and shut case. They had us at the other court, Nuneaton. Yeah. For about... All day, may as well say. All day. Yeah. Practically all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get nowhere so that we're still back at square one. This is supposed to make us so frustrated and even angry to the point of distraction, right? Mm -hmm. Right. This, we're supposed to be so crazy angry. We're supposed to be so full of rage that they can, that they then use as an excuse to say, well, you have mental health problems. You need to go into the mental hospital. Hmm. 
You need to be evaluated by psychiatrists who are, yeah, as usual, all in it together. And don't forget, when we are dealing with these people, we are sometimes, they are sometimes fully aware of the scriptures, the Bible they have there in their courtroom. Hmm. They're supposed to be, but... Yeah. yeah, they're fully aware. They get us to swear to yeah. tell the truth, which we do. And then they are encouraging the landlord to lie all day. So who makes sure these, I don't know, are they real judges? I have to question how real they are. Mm. Who, who makes sure they do what they're supposed to do? It looks like nobody. We have to swear to tell the truth. What about the judges? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, he's not on his own. Other people are behind him, so that's why uh, behind them. So that's why they think they have all kinds of immunity from the misfeasance and malfeasance that they keep doing. All in it together. We're supposed to believe and trust that we will be safe. We've already stated how they have used the police, and I stated it again today mm -hmm. to the judge, to turn up and harass us. We've already stated they have arrested us for no reason. just so that they can get us out of our home and abuse us with impunity to go through our stuff without a warrant while we are being detained. Now, what else are they trying to do? We are dealing with people who do not believe in a normal God, yet at the same time, they have decided that they can see that we have, I have healing powers. How do they think the God of this universe is going to allow them to be healed in any shape, way or form when they are doing all these evils to his people? The very same people that they wish to be healed by. I said it to you before. You, B and Z, don't be surprised if they got us out of the house so that they can lie in our beds mm -hmm. yeah. because they think it's going to help to heal them. And obviously, they're not going to do it with us there. They're not that stupid. Hmm. Just like we had somebody on the bus trapping my hand behind her back I think that's called scoliosis when yeah. you've got a hunchback or something mm -hmm. she's not letting me off the bus it's, I've got to get off the bus she's feeling that I'm taking my hand away right mm -hmm. 
and she's not letting my hand go from her back because people are being told whatever and people are believing whatever. They will go through all these things, do all these things without any real, you know how they ain't never going to tell the truth. Yeah. They are going to lie. Just to do whatever they want and to get other people to do what they want. This is how twisted people behave. Psychopathic people behave. Soulless people behave. They have no normal God. If they did, they wouldn't need to behave like this. You want healing? If you are a normal person with a normal God, how come you don't approach the normal God that everybody else is aware of? The God of the universe, the creator God of the universe. Whoever their God is, it is not the same God of the scriptures, of the Bible. So, whichever God they have, he is obviously not enough for them. Ain't they supposed to go to their God for everything? Even Islam says that Islam means submission to Allah. Doesn't that, isn't that what it means? That's what it's supposed to be about. That's what it's supposed to be, yeah. to be about. Yeah. Well, and we are told. As well. Yes, we are told it is supposed to be about submitting to yeah. the Most High God. Yeah. Right? Mm. So let us say, for instance, there are Muslims behind the scenes believing what certain white people have told them. Why? Would they not go to their God who is supposed to be their first port of call and their last port of call for anything and everything, right? Yeah. Including healing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So these people who have no normal God believe that there is such a thing as healing powers mm. and psychic powers but they are also making it clear that they don't function properly mm. they do not function mentally psychologically intellectually on a normal human level on a normal human level yeah. they do not rationalize properly they do not reason properly mm. they claim to be civilized and this is what civilized behavior looks like to them is it mm. i want what i want and i don't care what i have to do to get it it doesn't belong to me but i don't care about that either remember the first the other video yeah they say they don't give a shit. This is what psychopaths do. Yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. they know they are doing wrong, mm -hmm. yeah. but they say that they don't give a shit. Right. That's what they do. That's how they feel. So who in this so-called civilized system is normal? Mm -hmm. And how do you think you are going to save yourselves from whatever when all you keep doing is all kinds of evil? Mm. Everything negative, bad and evil. That's all they keep doing. Yes, it is. Yeah.
this is the one time where I would be interested to know from somebody who thinks they have a defence for these very twisted people, somebody who can defend all this, I would like to know your defence for them, or if they think they are so big and bad, why, don't, why doesn't somebody come and speak, make a comment under this video? Put your money where your mouth is, so to speak. And speak your defence. Say your defence. I would be interested to know what your defence is in these outrageous activities that you have been doing to us and intend to do still. You want to do more and more evil. Make a comment. Comment under this video. What is your defence? Or what is the defence you would use for such people? I would be interested to know. I think we would all be interested to know. Am I right? Well, it's going to be a load of BS, that's for sure, because that's all they can come out with. Yes, let, yeah. let them come with their BS. I would still be interested to know what BS they come with, mm. right? We already know what has been taking place is bullshit, right? Mm. But I would still be interested to know how they are going to defend themselves in these illegal and evil activities they've been doing and are planning to do, intent and determined to do, I would want, I want to know what is their rationale? What is their reasoning? Because I could be somebody that I've said before, I don't understand why people behave the way they do in the evils they've been doing to us. So I could say, well, I would like to cut your brain open and see for myself what makes your brain so evil. I want to see for myself and compare it to, I don't know, maybe a normal brain. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody, somewhere, if they are normal, they might think the same thing. But I am not uncivilised, so I'm not going to go around forcing my will on other people to find out why they are the way they are. But these people have decided that it is their prerogative to inflict all kinds of evil upon us so that the outcome, the final outcome of what they are doing, by hook or by crook, is to have us in their clutches. so that we are held captive for no good reason other than they want to parasite and vampire off us in every sense of the word, literally, as well as metaphorically. Figuratively.
if they think we are capable, they want to vampire off us there too. Copy whatever they do say, think, whatever. Follow them around, whatever they do. See what they cook. Let's do the same. But we can charge. We can make money, you see, because we're supposed to be highly capable in various ways, right? They think. So whatever we can vampire off them, we should do it. That is their reasoning. Mm. And fuck who gets harmed. That is their reasoning. Mm. Whoever is harmed by this, whatever. Well, the more harm, the better, really. Yes. Because they're sadistic. Yes, and this yeah. is about continuously uh, traumatising so that they can impose their will on us and control everything mm. about us, our lives, our minds. They want us to do whatever they want us to do. If they say, we want you to have this white man or woman, that's what they want us to do. Therefore, that's what we are supposed to do. Why? Because the white superiority complex per persons behind the scenes think that it is their prerogative mm. to impose their wills on other people like us. And then at the same time, they say, we will be treated fairly. We haven't been treated fairly for decades. Why would we believe we will be treated fairly? By the same people that are doing all these evil things to us. Why would we believe that we would be treated fairly? When? They should answer the question. When did you treat us fairly? Mm So are these the same mentalities that are trafficking people and children? Are these the same mentalities that are abusing, satanically, ritually abusing people and children? Because that's what it looks like. They don't have any qualms about destroying other people's lives and minds either. The only difference is these lot behind the scenes are using and abusing their positions of authority to try and get us. Mm. To physically try and get us. They're trying to get us psychologically. When it doesn't work, what else are they going to do?
you have to question, don't you? What else are they doing? Individually and collectively mm -hmm. in their groups. Mm -hmm. You called them in their covens last time. Yeah, what else are they doing? Yeah. Who's investigating them? To see what else they're doing. It looks quite obvious to me that they're obviously up to no good in other arenas. Hmm. Whatever they're doing, whenever they're doing it, hmm. they're obviously up to no good. Hmm. They're doing all kinds of things. It's not just us Definitely. that they're doing it too. Mm -hmm. It's not just us that they're after. Hmm. So who's investigating them? If they're all in it together, who's investigating them? Apart from the Most High God, who is always awake. Yeah? Yeah. He's not gone on a holiday. He's not taken a break. He's always fully aware of what is taking place. Apart from him, who is investigating these lot behind the scenes? I'm going to ask a stupid question. From what has been taking place all these years, do you believe what that judge said? about our safety. Well, not for see not, no. As Akrabay said, it's um they haven't really shown that all this time. Mm -mm. I don't believe what you said about safety or being treated fairly. Yeah. Neither obviously. Mm. Well you can say what you think about why you don't believe it. I think you know because they've been biased and corrupt from the beginning just like so many other people not just the court that's right yeah, yeah. everybody in authority that we've had dealings with and out of authority <laughs> like the landlord himself they've all been corrupt and gone along with the same targeting mm. and everybody gets paid they drag things like this out while everybody gets paid and we end up poorer mm -hmm. which is the intention mm -hmm. They did the same thing in the DWP case and the police case as well. Mm -hmm. They dragged that out as well. They knew that they weren't going to treat us fairly or give us justice at any point. They knew mm -hmm. that. But they still decided to drag it out for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, we are not really surprised, are we? Not surprised, not no, because they basically turn everything into another aspect of targeting us. Mm -hmm. So while you're being targeted, if there's a court case, that's going to be used in some way exactly. to target you again, isn't it? Exactly. To put you through something again. Exactly. Yeah. So whoever we've had dealings with, whether it's the utilities, whether it is, you know, gas, electricity they are all behaving the same so they are all in it together so i suspect we're going to be getting more crap from them next they like to take turns to give us the crap more letters ignoring everything we've already said mm -hmm. that they don't reply to you see after this court case here now yeah they're gonna go and have their meetings again to decide what they're gonna do next
as if they don't already know that it's never going to be anything different. They're going to decide, is it, whose turn is it? Is it the utilities? Is it water? Is it, who's going to go next? That's what they do. Yeah, it is, yeah. Is it going to be the landlord? Should we send the landlord around and provoke some some response that we can use to say mental illness? And if they don't get a response, I'll just invent one that didn't happen, innit? Uh -huh. Something we said uh -huh. that we didn't, something we did that we didn't. Uh -huh. okay. Send the landlord with a uh, partner in crime so that he can say, yes, he witnessed how I was behaving or how we were behaving or how we were threatening mm. or what we said use the neighbors to say yes we all saw we all saw it for ourselves mm -hmm. yes we need to uh get the authorities involved mm? yeah. but they forget there is a one true god involved yeah two mm -hmm. Witnessing everything, yeah. including their secret meetings, including right there in their secret meetings that they yeah. think are secret, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not so secret meetings, mm. including when they are conniving together. Mm. Colluding together. Lying together. Mm. What else are they doing together? So when that Ken Livingston MP said that they are vindictive people, They're proving it, aren't they? Definitely. When the barrister said the system is against you, they're proving it. Right. Solicitor said dark forces are operated behind the scenes. They're proving it. Hmm. Everybody is co-opted and corrupt, said the UN human rights investigator, so they're proving it. The Pope, the uh, superintendent, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that said that it goes over their heads. Oh, they're proving that too, but they, that, that they're using them as their Bully boys, bubble boys. Heavy boys. That's another tool. Yeah, yeah. like mobsters. Yeah. They're using them. So why would we believe that they are not going to use this opportunity for two hours to just be using their weapons on us? Right there. Their handheld torture weapons that they can use discreetly just to keep hitting us. And then obviously they want somebody to collapse. They've done that before. Yes, they have, yeah. Right here. Mm -hmm. And even previous addresses as well. Mm-hmm. So why would we believe that they're not going to be doing all kinds of stuff like that? Just so that they can cut us off. And remember, yeah, last time they arrested us, they separated us, remember? Yeah, what should yeah. do? Yeah. They they made sure that they did that because they wanted to compound any shock, trauma, upset. Mm -hmm. So they thought I was going to be in all kinds of uh, distress. 
Yeah. yeah. Distress. So they put you two in a van and then put me in a police car with these two coppers who were acting like uh, bullies. Yeah, yeah. We put that, didn't we? You did. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted us to wanted me to get upset and, and cry, and I didn't do that. And then they arrested us, which was bad and illegal and wrong and criminal and uh, corrupt, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Not only did they do that, they decided to interview... After holding us in separate cells as well. That's yeah. That's thing, three separate cells. Yeah. Yeah. After holding us in three separate police cells, mm -hmm. they decided to interview you, B. Yeah. On your own, without any legal representative present. Did they achieve what they wanted that day, B? No. Why? Well, a number of reasons, but... Number one, we kind of know how to deal with them. Well, they expected. What did they expect? From the minute they came and kicked the door down, twice in four days, and then the third, second time, from the time they come there to arrest us and take us away, they expected us to fall to pieces. Yeah. They expected us to... Uh, I don't know, just be hysterical, I suppose. And terrified. And terrified, right? So they decided to pick on you, B, and interview you. You see, what, what, what they are also hoping is that the more... Uh, the more off-the-scale mad the situation is, the more you're not going to be able to fathom what the fuck's going on here you can't understand it you see that's what they expected from us in you so this is off the scale madness we know that sometimes they know that no they definitely know all the time yeah they're the ones that sit there coming well, up it's they're normal. the ones that sit there coming up with these ideas of what should we do next to take it up a notch and take it up another notch and yeah yeah yeah, yeah to push us over the edge but it's normal on one level yeah? yeah, it's normal. We are black, and that to them, it's normal to mistreat us, to treat us like we don't matter, etc. Hmm. etc. Et yes, you don't have to consider how they feel, they're, they're, they're nobody, they're just niggers. And if somebody is showing any sign of being normal, then they're going to be accused of being a nigger lover, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever the case is, they're supposed to do what is right in law. What's right here? What has been right in this case here? I'm not even going into all these three, over three decades. Right here, with this case, what's been right about it that they've been doing? Nothing. So we were talking about the arrest from, from our home, right? They know that it's off the scale madness. They wouldn't be expecting us to do that. Let's shock them, let's traumatise them and use that to force them to be our slaves, to do whatever we want. In those days, they weren't even, I don't think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think they were thinking about getting our stem cells then. Or our tissue and, and ovaries and sperm or whatever, semen, whatever, blood, organs. I don't think they were thinking about it then. So what, did, what were they doing it for then? 
Yeah, I think they were back then as well still. You think so? Yeah. Going by the embassy case, yeah, letter. Embassy letter we wrote before then. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were aware of the oh, okay. Before. Yeah, you're right. I remember yeah. now. Okay, so they interviewed you. You didn't fall apart. You answered the questions despite the crap that they had just been doing mm -hmm. and putting us in separate cells. Mm -hmm. Their reputation is we kill niggers in our custody. We kill niggers on the street for everybody to see and we film it. And we keep repeating it to try and re-traumatise people. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what they do. We have the power to do whatever we want. So we make sure everybody knows that, especially niggers. And any time you see any person in authority, whether it's a copper or anybody else, we want you to automatically be a nervous wreck. Knee knocking Negro. Or any time somebody says they're going to call the police as yeah. well, it's supposed to uh -huh. throw you into a state of panic. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They like yeah. doing that as well. Yeah. We're going to get the police. We're going to call the police. Mm. We're going to tell the police. Mm. They want us to wet ourselves on the spot. They, they do that to people. Mm -hmm. And they're so brave and tough, they do it to little children. Youngsters. So that's what that was about, Dee. They were hoping that they were going to put you in a state of mind of all kinds of, oh, I don't know, confusion, incredulity that you cannot even, you know, tra so traumatised that you don't even know where, what, what's going on, what to say, mm -hmm. that you have a, a, a kind of breakdown or something. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, the Most High God is real, okay? Mm -hmm. Thankfully, he has been with us. But thankfully, he also tells us, are you seriously expecting these corrupt people to start being different now? Mm -hmm. After all this time of being all kinds of negative, bad and evil? You're going to think we're crazy. Our, our God, our Heavenly Father, going to think we have become crazy. When he says resist the devil, he don't just mean put up a fight. He means leave them alone. He obviously knows there's times we have to deal with people that are considered wicked and evil. And he's saying, yes, I know that. Do your job. I'll do mine. But you obviously also have a working brain. To know how and when to deal with these, I don't know what else to call them. Extremely dodgy, twisted people. Very sadistic, hmm. bloodthirsty people.
So this is what we are, they're trying to condition us to do whatever they tell us to do. That's what that was about when they were, they isolated you, they isolated all three of us, mm. but they decided to interview you alone, on your own, against two coppers. They're trying to condition us. to be slaves. Whatever we say, you do it. Whatever we want, you give it to us. Whatever we tell you to do with whoever we tell you to do it with. Now, can you imagine being a youngster who ain't necessarily got anybody to fall on, to fall back on, how they deal with them? Can you imagine? Yeah. Especially a little black youngster, youth, mm. on the street. Can you imagine how they create these youngsters to do certain things and behave in certain ways? When I say, what else are they doing? They are doing things with youngsters too. They are, we had a story about some lawyer who was um, in control of various gangs selling dope on the street. And when you go further and further up or back, mm -hmm. that's who was the so-called, they like to call themselves masterminds mm -hmm. behind all these operations. When everybody knows that people don't have the power to bring in the drugs and the guns and so on, mm -hmm. other people are doing that. Mm -hmm. But that was what was going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Up the do you remember that? Higher up the chain, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. People in so-called polite society as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So they used the ute to distribute whatever. Make them their money, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they just get rich mm -hmm. and meanwhile yes since this is a war of evil against the good then obviously the most high god is also fully aware of what is going on not just here They are obviously doing all kinds of evil. And the opposite of evil is always going to be present. Just as the opposite of good is always going to be present until the coming kingdom. You know, right. the system is going to have its evil running things down into the ground mm. with every year, every month that goes by, it's just getting worse. Yeah. They're in a hurry. Maybe they know what's coming. Some of these people behind the scenes are trying to have some kind of insurance policy. They decided 
that our bodies are supposed to help their bodies to live longer and stronger. Whatever they can say to make people go along with it, that's what they do. They are known to be liars yes, indeed, yeah. all right. the time. That's right. Yeah. When it comes to everything. And it's about being vindictive and being sadistic. It's like how they know you didn't commit any crime. Mm -hmm. It's about putting you through the ringer. Mm -hmm. Putting you through a whole heap of yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. and yeah, trauma. and trauma. But also, they're the real terrorists as well. Exactly. So terrorise yeah. people. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's about putting you through all kinds of hell, like you said. And then watching. Let's see what it looks like when this one falls apart, when this one loses it. You see? Mm. They want the satisfaction of watching their prey, because they are predatory by nature, watching their prey deteriorate into all kinds of madness, Loss of control. Self-destruction. Self-destruct. Mm -hmm. And destruction, yeah. And um, it's like they are being self-destructive themselves. Mm -hmm. So they want you to be like them. How can this be doing them any good? It's like a, a person who kills people. It started off with just one person, right? Hmm. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe it was on purpose. Usually, after a while, it's not that hard to do it again and again and again, is it? Hmm. No. Same thing goes for if you're a thief. Even though no, most times people know it's just a matter of time before you get caught, before it backfires, right? So this is what they are doing it for, y'all. It is about being vindictive. You don't have to do anything for them to be vindictive. What did we do before when Ken Livingston said they are vindictive people? You don't have to do anything. Just be black. That's it. But we have survived and they probably don't like it. We're not supposed to survive. Even if we do survive, we're supposed to have, you know. Met with a demise by then. Yeah, we're supposed to have lost physically. our mind. Yeah, we're supposed to be crazy by now. That's how they feel better. But we haven't gone crazy. So they don't like it. We've dealt with stuff the way we have been guided to do, and they don't like it. They want us to listen to them. What's she listening to your God for? He's not here. 
That's what they want us to think. Then they'll say, okay, well, if you've got a God, well, this that means you, you don't have to fear, they will say, coming to the court. I, I'm not saying that we should fear going to the court. I'm saying we should be extremely circumspect and cautious and intelligent. The Most High God will be the first one to say we should be circumspect, cautious and intelligent. We already know what they've been doing all these decades. Over three decades. Why would we just be walking into their, their establishments? Well, the same people that have been showing misfeasance and malfeasance throughout this case. And now you're calling shelter of all the three numbers. They don't close till eight. Oh, we can't take your call. Bye. Click. Any other step change woman? Oh, didn't they take on your case? Oh, that's surprising. Yeah. Not to us. No. Not to us. And not even to her, because they come on the phone and they want you to believe that they ain't got a clue what's going on. And they're all in it together. And they obviously liaise. And they make out nobody knows what's going on. Why are you having all these meetings for? And who are you having them with if nobody knows what's going on? Mm. Left hand don't know what the right hand is doing. So wh wh who are you having all these meetings with mm. that they keep having and telling us too? Yeah. We've had meetings about you. Mm. Yeah. Well, who are you having all these meetings for if nobody knows what's going on? All these 35, 6, I don't know how many years now. 35 plus. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing in these meetings then? What are you doing? Just sitting there, you know, not saying nothing. So is that how nobody knows what's going on? You just have we just all come together and we just sit there and say, okay, time to go. Hmm? Yeah. Everybody knows they talk. They talk, okay? Mm -hmm. They know exactly how to talk to each other, with each other. They have meetings so that they can communicate with each other. They want to, they call it intel, yeah. mm -hmm. intelligence gathering. That's right, yeah. Yes. Well, obviously, that's what they're doing in these meetings. In between plotting and scheming their next crap. So thank you, Shelter. We already expected there will be no response. And then we're supposed to believe, but we are still a civilized country because everybody is able to have a bed. Nobody 
needs to be homeless because we've got civilized organizations that go and help and advise. So they're showing exactly what we expected, isn't it? No. Same thing with any legal advisor. Citizens Advice Bureau. Mm. Once upon a time, they used to do a proper job, the Citizens Advice Bureaus, mm. okay? Yeah. Before you came along, were born, I went to them one day and I said, um, my manager, boss, he's not... He's, he, he, we agreed a certain salary and he's not, he's reneging and he's saying that he's not going to pay me that anymore and that he's going to pay me less. So I went to them and I said, this is what he said. And so they said, okay, well, we'll sort it out with the wages inspector and we'll get the wages inspector up there and uh, we'll see what else he's doing wrong. Because uh, they go into everything. How much is he paying? Da, 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 da. How much an hour? Blah, blah, blah. That was once upon a time where we had a wages inspectorate. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm at work at the same place. And they sent the wages inspectorate while I was there. And the my manager, the boss of the whole company... Not only did he have to pay my money, but he had to raise the money of everybody else working there because they went through all everybody's wages. That was when they used to do their job. Mm. The Citizens Advice Bureau, the Wages Inspector. I bet you any money, the Wages Inspector, it does not exist today. Mm. This is going back to about 1978-79. Unfortunately, the wages inspector didn't do it in the discreet way they should have done it. So the boss knew it was me that went to the CAB and the wages inspector. And so I didn't stay there because he started being extremely abusive and swearing and all that and banging and all the rest of it. Right. So I didn't stay there. But this is when they used to do their job. So, yeah, people of a certain age remember when things were not like this. So apparently they say when people know that uh, they are not long for this life or they're not going to be in charge much longer or everything is going to go belly down or belly up or whatever, Hmm. This is apparently what they do. They don't care anymore. The reputation goes out the window. And it's a free-for-all. Whatever you want, take it. Hmm. Get it while the getting is good. That's how they think now. Yeah. So they know everything is gone to pot, as they say. This is what it looks like. When they know everything is over, it's finished, this is what it looks like.
We don't have to pretend to be uh, multicultural anymore. We don't have to pretend to be civilised anymore. We can be free to be racist and now. Do whatever you want. Let them have it. That was somebody's last words one time before somebody, before I think the police shot him dead. He was holding a uh, table leg. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And, and he said, let them have it. And he thought he, they decided or said that they thought it was a, a gun or a rifle or whatever, yeah. a yeah. shotgun. And then they shot him. He was supposed to be uh, uh, retarded or something. Still ended up killing him off. So they all had their orders and they all know as soon as our number comes up on their screen and in real time the surveillance is, is, is there to, you know, intercept as well. So they know whatever we're doing and whoever we're ringing and whatever. So they all had their, their orders and they're just going along with it. So we don't need to know who they're working for. Yeah, same, mm. same as same as usual. Who are they all working for? They think we're here to do what with our organs and our bodies, and they think that we are here so that they can do whatever they want to our bodies, hmm. our organs. How do they expect to get these stem cells, by the way? Because I asked somebody in the CAB, how are, are they expecting to get these stem cells? Because that's a question, when I said that to them at the uh, CAB, that is a question that they're supposed to be thinking. You said they want your stem cells and this and this and that. Well, how are they expecting to get that then? Without raping you. And so on. They don't ask that. It's, it's normal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I said, this is what they... I'm thinking she don't even... Batting an eyelid, she don't even think there's anything wrong with it. Because they're looking at niggers. If they were looking at another person that looked like them, they would question it. They would say, well, why would they do that? Why are they trying to do that? And how would they try? How would they do that without raping it? Because the stem cells come from the placenta, right? Right. And the placenta comes from a pregnancy, right? Mm. from within umbilical cord, the umbilical blood. cord yeah. and from the baby and the mother. Yeah. So how are they intending to get these stem cells? How are they intending to create these stem cells mm -hmm. without raping mm -hmm. somebody, us? How are they intending to make a pregnancy? How are they intending to do that? Mm -hmm. And also take it to full term as well. Yeah. Yeah. Without having somebody in their captivity. Uh-huh. Yeah. Without being held captive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are they intending to do all that? Well, she didn't bat an eye with y'all. Mm. She just said, okay. Yeah. I wasn't surprised. Mm. And they know I'm, they, they, they believe what I'm saying. They already know. Yeah, exactly.
you were there. They've already been doing that as well. They've already been doing that. Yeah. You already know. So yeah, I, I can see what, what is motivating them. But to do all these evil things, it's not going to get them nowhere but down to hell. That's all. Right. That's all it's going to get. But yeah, they, they, they don't mind, I suppose. As long as they can do the damage before they go. Hmm. You see? Yeah. That's probably what they're about. So... So they're saying, well, we are, we are like, mm, we are the masterminds, we are the superpowers, and we decide what happens, and you have no say. That's how they think. You have no say. Your bodies, your life, your mind does not belong to you. That's how they behave. So if other people come along to do the same to them, or similar, then they shouldn't complain, right? Right. Or do worse to them because they deserve a whole lot worse, yeah. Uh, then they shouldn't complain. They're going to say, well, we want to know why you're so twisted and evil. So we're going to hold you in captivity and cut you and do this and do that and investigate what it looks like in your brain to make you so wicked and evil. We want to see what happens when we, we torture you. We want to see how you manage so this is what they're doing to us and others. Mm -hmm. So when other people do it to them, they shouldn't complain then, right? No, exactly. So yeah, we're going to be treated fairly. We're supposed to believe that. So is that what they've been using as utilities people to do? Is that what they've been using these lot to do? The, the people we just called? Is that what they've been using them to do? So they want us to, they think, go into panic mode because we have no lifeline. We cannot get through to shelter. So they think we're going to go into panic mode now. Hmm. And we're not going to bother call anybody else. So they want us to be completely, we already said we're on our own. We already said that in the other, the other video. We already said we have no friends. We have no family. We're on our own. We already know that. But we will be treated fairly. With any dealings with anybody at all, with any kind of influence or power, we will be treated fairly, really. Really. They have scrutinised everything we have put on the blog. They're probably pissed off, but we will be treated fairly hmm. if we go to the court for two hours over a case that was supposed to be open and shut two years ago. Yeah, B? That's right, yeah. Yeah, heard that? Yeah.
Anything y'all want to say? Mm. Well, one thing to point out is not getting through to shelter. They're another corrupt organisation, as we found before ourselves, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's like you're not able to get through on the phone to other people who are just as corrupt. I think mm. when they feel like it. Yeah. 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 But I just remembered, how come nobody's allowed to leave a comment on any of our videos? All right. Yeah. I just remembered that as well. Mm. How come they have used their... Uh, what's it called? Technology platform. Platform. Yeah. Yeah. To make sure nobody has a, makes a comment on any of our videos. How come? Hmm. Nobody's allowed to associate. Remember, we said that they they practically sent us to Coventry. Nobody's allowed to. Yeah. I'm putting a bin you then. Huh? Put it in the bin you said before. Yeah, they probably put it in the proverbial bin. Maybe, who knows? But uh Yeah, we're not allowed to have no nobody commenting. I've seen some videos and I'm thinking, we're not even doing saying none of this, and hmm. they're getting loads of people commenting and they're making it look like they've got a whole heap of subscribers. Yeah. Some of these figures are bullshit anyway. But you know let's say it's true. I'm thinking we're not even going there. We're not saying that. We're not coming from that angle. But they're, tr they're acting like we, they are, we are their possession and they are being extremely possessive hmm. over us. Nobody's allowed to communicate with us. Hmm. How come nobody's allowed to make a comment? They've turned that thing off. They've turned that function off. So, yeah. Even if somebody was going to comment on here, they're going to make out that, you know, well, I can't comment because uh, there's no, no way to do it. They've turned it off. They're going to think we did it. We haven't done nothing. We even said in the first video, message from Yoziki. Yeah. That, you know, if you, if you want to make a comment... We're going to answer it to the best of our ability. Hmm. That was 2015, isn't it? That video? Um, uh, 2015 or 14, one of those two. Ah, yeah. it's 15. Okay. I'm not sure, mate. And that we are aware that there's such thing as trolls and, and whatever. But, yeah. you know, if you want to make a comment, ask us anything. Because some people, especially the further back you, the further you go back, they don't believe that people are doing these things and getting away with it. They don't know how people are doing it. Well, they know now, but the further you go back, they don't. They don't get it. They say, "Hi, why would they?" Remember how we used to get that all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why would they? Well, how would they? What would they? Why would they? Do it to you. And now, yeah, mm -hmm. CAB, yeah, she, she knows all about it. She's been told what to say and how, you know, she, she, she's been part of it too, doing it, they're all in it together. Been briefed, yeah. Been briefed, yeah. So this is another thing they're hoping. No communication with anybody is going to accelerate our... Uh, feelings of isolation and loneliness. So that we can have some kind of uh, real mental symptoms. Because they have to keep making it up and lying and twisting it and whatever else. And then there's times that they've sent people to come with a comment. You see, that Igbrezi. Yeah. Remember I said they always use Nigerians when yeah. it comes to us? That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when they're not using Ghanaians, they're using Nigerians all the time. In fact, that's their first choice when it comes to us.
And then the Ghanaians started doing their shit. Actually, oh, I, can't, I can remember when, when we first went there. Yeah. First to the Ghanaians. All right. Well, they're acting like, oh, um, what did he say? Somebody said, oh, we haven't. We been, been instructed. Yes, we haven't been instructed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Waiting to be instructed. In order to deal with us, to know what to do with, to deal with us. Haven't been instructed. Says it all, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, we will remember that the Most High God is not gone anywhere. He is real. Okay? That's right. Mm. He's not gone anywhere. He is real. And he's still with us too. And he's still with us. So, that's it. That's, that's what we should remember. Regardless of what these, I don't know what to call them, Entities. Entities. Terrorists. Criminals, criminals, terrorists, yeah. Regardless of what all them kind of people want to do, we will always remember the Most High God is real. He ain't going nowhere. So let us remember that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for that, Abbe Yehua. Looks like the enemy is desperate to get us, especially me. To hold us, have us captive, held captive. Okay? Right. All right. The other thing is, they call it plausible deniability. If you don't get through to us and you don't tell us anything, that means we can't say we knew about it. That's what they're going to do now as well. That's where they're coming from as well. We don't want to get involved. We are already involved. You already know. That's why you didn't answer it. That's why you didn't answer the phone. Also, it's not the first time you called them, so... No. no. So that's why they didn't answer the phone, the shelter people. So who, who are they working for? Who, who's being helped? Mm. Who are they helping? Who are they really helping? I should put it that way, shouldn't I? Who are they really helping? Ah, there's a lot of uh, quiet bits in this recording bit or whatever. I guess we're just going to leave it, yeah? Don't have to. Ah, leave it. Leave it. This is, this is, you don't have to have every minute, you know what I mean, with some kind of uh, talk or sound. So it's all right. So, Abayahua, they are going hell for leather. I guess we'll see what happens next. Mm. Mm? Yeah. Thank you for being a God of real justice, Abayahua. The highest judge, we said? Yeah. Yes. The yeah. highest judge? <laughs> highest witness? Jury? An executioner. Yeah. Thank you for that, Tabi Yahuwah. I guess we'll see. 
what happens next, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No problem. You say what you... You have the last word and then I'll... I'll stop the recording after that. I mean, there's nothing more to say, really. Sure? Mm -hmm. Go on. Mm -hmm. You can have the last word. I don't always have to have the last word. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't. Hmm? Said you weren't. But ultimately, they're doing it all to themselves with interest, and in it. Yeah. Mm. Ultimately, mm. and like you said, the Most High is the highest judge. Mm -hmm. And so, when people who call themselves judges don't do what they're supposed to, mm. all the more worse for them. Oh mm. well, yeah, they're it says be, that in they're the, book the first ones to be judged. So. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it says that in the book mm. too. Okay. And also, as well, everybody who's just spectating mm -hmm. to see what they can get out of it for themselves, mm. including entertainment, mm -hmm. them too, mm -hmm. going to be worse for them in the long run. Mm. So all they want to do is keep entrapping us. Remember we said the, the wicked fall into their own traps, that they set others yeah. that don't deserve it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is what, what's behind it as well. They want us... to fall into their traps as usual. It's not a new thing with them. They're always setting up traps, trying to entrap us. Like I said, who is going to believe that we will be treated fairly? And from their perspective, they know that we are going to have serious issues with that because they have been liaising with each other they know we don't we've we've put the same thing to the job center they're the ones setting up interviews appointments and then getting the police to walk in Soon to harass arrive. us yeah straight after we arrive. straight yeah. after we arrive so they know all this they've gone and done whatever digging around because we put we put it out there already it's in the public domain. We've given them the names, places, etc. Mm -hmm. They've gone and done their digging around or whatever. So uh, they're, they're thinking what? All they have to do is say, yes, well, you are going to have to appear in court. And then what? They've already shown that they are corrupt and dangerous and obsessive, bloodthirsty, sadistic, twisted. You don't have to agree with me, but you you you've been witnessing everything too. Oh, yeah, we experienced yeah, all that it ourselves. And more. Yeah. yeah, they've been directing things at us too. Yeah, so mm. sometimes separately as well. Mm. Uh -huh. so I mean, all that and more. Even the things they sent through the uh, the YouTube that we wouldn't put on there. Mm. This, this is what they send. Yeah. We'll leave it in the most high's hands. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Anything else? Mm. No. Okay.
Thank you. B, C. Thank you, Ma. Well done. And you well too. done you too, yeah. Well done you, Ma. Well done you too, Abbe Yahuwah. Heavenly Father, well done you too. Well done you, Ma. Our brother, our only relative, our heavenly brother, our Yeshaya Messiah, thank you. Well done you. Thank you. Holy Spirit, comforter, thank you for keeping us all these years. And heavenly angels, thank you too. Heavenly angels, thank you too. Ancestors, prophets and scribes, thank you all too. We will see what we will see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. amen. So Yahweh, so Yahweh. 